Alright guys, so towards the very end of the Dragon Ball Super manga chapter number 63, as Miros was slowly unleashing his full angelic powers against Moro, at first as he was just using the galactic patrol weapons, he was fine. But when he started using his angelic staff, and he fought Moro even head on than before, much more physical than before, then Miros slowly started to become see-through, and everybody was shocked. And at last, when he unleashed his full angelic powers against Moro, everything that he had, and when he destroyed the crystal that was on Moro's head, he slowly started to fade away. He was disintegrating. He was becoming erased out of existence, without a trace. And lastly, after he said his final words to Goku, he was gone. Miros completely disappeared. But now the question is, who actually erased Miros out of existence for breaking the law of the angels? Was it the Omni King or was it the Grand Priest? So who was it that erased Miros out of existence without a single trace? So now first of all, let's start off with the Omni King. As we all have seen and as we all have known, the Omni King has the power to erase something or someone, a galaxy, a universe, a timeline, or even everything. And that was 100% confirmed by Beerus and Whis when they're talking to Goku and Vegeta. And we all have seen it with our own eyes in the Shaman of Power when he erased all those universes and even Frost. He erased Frost in the blink of an eye. He was gone just like that. So the Omni King does indeed have the power to erase something. But guys, I don't think it's the Omni King. Because as we all have seen, the Omni King is a very playful character. He likes to have fun, he likes to play. Even though he has so much unmatched, unfathomable power, but still, the Omni King is basically a child. He has childish behaviors. So I believe that the Omni King was not the one that erased Miros out of existence. And that is because the one that watches, manages, and oversees everything, that is the Grand Priest. He's the one that keeps his eyes on everything. And even when Whis went to talk to the Grand Priest about Miros, of what is happening to Miros and what Miros is doing, the Grand Priest was already aware of what Miros was doing. He was already watching everything that was happening way before. And most importantly, as we all have seen, to get to the Omni King, no matter who you are, you have to go through the Grand Priest first. He has to allow that to happen, to see the Omni King. So before the Omni King sees something and he knows about something, the Grand Priest knows about it first. And then the Omni King finds out and learns about it from the Grand Priest. That is how it works. And guys, in Dragon Ball Super, when Goku is meeting the Grand Priest for the first time ever, Goku had the thought of challenging the Grand Priest. And this is what we said to Goku about the Grand Priest. And we said, the Grand Priest is one of the top 5 strongest fighters in all the universes. And we said himself that even he does not compare to what Grand Priest is and what he's capable of. So guys, in conclusion, the Grand Priest has the power to erase mirrors out of existence. But guys, once again, just like the Omni King, I believe the Grand Priest was not the one that erased Miros out of existence. Because from the beginning, he was against Miros being erased. He did not want an angel to be erased out of existence. Because once again, when Whis went to talk to him about Miros, just as the Grand Priest put Whis in charge of Miros to look after him, to keep an eye on him, as Whis was about to leave, the Grand Priest said, But do keep an eye on that one. Troublemaker or not, I do not wish to lose an angel. So guys, from the beginning, the Grand Priest did not want an angel to be raised. He did not want Miros to disappear. So it's not the Grand Priest that erased Miros, but it was someone else or something else. Because if it's not the Omni King or even the Grand Priest, then who was it that erased Miros? Now guys, what I believe happened to Miros is this right here. So Miros disappearing from existence was a thing that was automatically set in place for the angels. Meaning guys, if an angel does violate the law of the angels, if he or she does go against it, then they'll be erased. So if an angel such as Miros does slowly reach the limit that is set in place for them, then they're gone just like that. And the best recent example that I can give you guys for something that is automatic is from the terminal power. And that is when a fighter was pushed out of the terminal power arena, they fell and fell until there was a point where they just suddenly disappeared and went directly into the terminal power seating arena. And guys, with that, that was something that was automatic. That was set in place for when someone fell out of the Trauma of Power arena. And the erasure of an angel could have possibly been set up by the Omni King or even the Grand Priest. And that is to keep a balance in everything. 
Because guys, as we all know, the angels possess a lot of knowledge. And not only that, they also have unimaginable power as well. So if they do get involved in a battle, then the outcome of that battle will definitely change. Everything will be a lot different. Because we all have seen that Moro easily took down Goku, Vegeta and everyone else until Mirus arrived on the battlefield and Mirus easily was able to mess with Moro without any problems whatsoever. Like Moro was just nothing. And that is basically where the law of the angels is set in place automatically. So that if and when an angel does get involved way too much such as Miros, then the code and the law of the angels will automatically begin its process as we have seen with Miros. Because when Miros was just fighting with the galactic martial weapons, he was perfectly fine. But then when Miros slowly started using his angelic abilities against Moro and the tools that he has access to as an angel, such as his staff, he slowly started becoming see-through. And as he was unleashing more and more of his angelic powers, he was starting to become a lot more see-through than he was before. And right after that, when he reached the limit that is set in place for him as an angel, the highest power that is allowed, he was getting disintegrated and erased out of existence without a single trace. Anyways guys, that's about it. That's all I have for you guys today. Thank you all so much for watching. And if you guys did enjoy this video, give it a huge thumbs up. And if you guys are banned to this channel, be subscribed for more videos like this. Anyways guys, once again, thank you all so much for watching. And have a blessed day my friends.